few years before that, back in the fall flat, my pops wiped his feet for the last time on our doormat. Look deep in my heart. Elzai is fucking crazy. Lyrically, an animal. DJ, I sure know what it is, man. The league hard. Quick prediction, though. This one should only take a couple minutes. Shout out to John John. Shout out to Bullpen. I see they got a card coming up. And I see a lot of people have an opinion on this battle. Let me give you my honest opinion. J Mills and John John the Don. Let me say this. J Mills is continually, increasingly getting better. Ain't gonna be too much longer, y'all gonna keep doing this. We already know going in, he about to get smoke shit. Eventually that shit's gonna stop. He's gonna be enough of a student of the game and enough of a person to say, you know what, I'm open-minded to what I need to do to hone in to get some W's out here. Eventually it's gonna he's he's not gonna keep losing, y'all. He's not gonna keep losing. There's only so far you're going to keep on saying j -Mill's about to get dirty. j -Mill's about to get smoked. There's only so long we can keep doing that. And he keeps increasingly getting better. He keeps getting better. How much longer are we going to keep doing when I got so-and-so going in? He about to 30 j -Mill's. He about to smoke j -Mill's. We don't know that no more. He's getting better. He's getting better. I will say this, the smaller the setting is the quicker he's picking it up. If, that, if I could actually say that, because he's been getting better in the smaller settings, you know, when he had the little uh, straight to it and shit like that, shout out to RBE. You can see that he was getting better each time. Then you put him on the stage with Geechee, didn't look all that good. So I'm just saying, it seems like in small rooms, he's getting it together quicker. Or maybe that's because that's what's being presented to him. If we would have gave him nothing but big stage, maybe he'd have to learn faster on the big stage. But right now, we can say on a smaller stage, in smaller rooms, pit style or whatever, Jay Mills is not that bad. He's getting better. Now, I don't know what style this is going to be. It might be pit style or it might be on the stage, but I'm going to say this. I do have John John winning. I do have him clearly winning but if anything i got a a 2-1 to a gentleman's 30 i don't think he's about to smoke and kill j mills i think j mills is gonna fight back i think he's been doing well in the past few battles i think the, the geechee one i think that was a life a learning lesson you're on a big stage you gotta learn how to land stuff you gotta learn what to even spit you gotta know what to even talk about what, what is your substance I, I mean your subject matter What's your approach? What's your angle? Are you punching today? You name flipping today? What you doing? I learned how to land them shits in them big stages. He also has to learn how to be a little bit more entertaining. Throw a joke in here and there. You gotta learn all that. But he is increasingly getting better. So I just wanted to make this block to say, you know what, J. Mills, I see you, my nigga. You're getting better, and I'm, I, I see that. And on top of that, what he just spit in that freestyle, that's Sincere Cypher's freestyle, dope fucking verse. He was actually really rapping very well. And we already know he's dope on beat. This was like a reminder. This was like a reminder. So shout out to J Mills. Shout out to freaking, uh, to John John. I think it's going to be a good battle regardless. As a matter of fact, I think my next blog I'm going to talk about is that, that Sincere Cypher's. That shit was crazy. I'm going to start going back in on my music shit. I, I, I ain't hold you. I'm a DJ. So that's, that's first and foremost. So I'm going to start going back in on that type of shit. But right now, I do got John John winning. But y'all put a little bit of, uh, I wouldn't say full respect on J. Mill's name. Even though you should because he's been here from the inception. I think he might be the first. I think he is the first battle on Smack DVD. Him and Sire Castro. Him and Mook is, is a classic. So he's already someone of respect that we do respect. 
But I understand that he's been he has to, he has to relearn if you want to say that. And I get that. But I'm telling you to y'all that he is learning. I can see that he's learning. I can see that he's getting better increasingly. If if this day he was a three, he moved himself up to three and a half or four the next one. And then you know what I mean? Increasing every time. Especially in a smaller setting. He's gotta learn big rooms though. He does have to learn big rooms. I ain't gonna lie to you, Jay. You gotta learn them big rooms. You gotta learn how to land them shits in big rooms. But I don't know what, what, where we're going with this one. It might not be as big. As long as there are a good amount of people in there, I think Jay Mills is gonna do okay. But I do got John John clearly winning though. That's just in my opinion. But again, I do wanna say, show that man some respect and give him a little bit of, you know what I mean, a little bit of kudos. Because he is increasingly getting better. So shout out to JML, shout out to John John. I see you, my nigga. John John with a clear one, though. John John with a clear one. This is my opinion, though. But shout out to J Mills and his verse in that cypher was dope. Dope. Keep it up, my nigga. DJ, you know what it is, man. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Let me know what y'all think, all right? One.